H2Energy is absolutely pivotal in our city and as we develop our green credentials and our, our green agenda. But the word sustainable and sustainability also uh, is at the heart of what we do as a city and prepare ourselves for the future. And that's about investing uh, and being in partnership with uh, the private sector uh, to create jobs and opportunities for our city. Uh, green energy is using what's around us more, uh, 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 more sensibly. Um, and what we've been pioneering here is, the, uh, is to take a waste stream which is, of which no value is extracted from it and put it to good use. And as we mentioned earlier, 16 million tonnes of food waste a year just going into the ground doing nothing. We're using that and the biorefinery we see behind is the, the mechanism that we use to, to do that. Uh, when the company was looking to set up its, its manufacturing centres is that we approached a number of development areas within the country and frankly Liverpool were the most aggressive in coming forward on the basis of the jobs which we would create and with the, the new mayoral fund is that it was a, a good opportunity to be exploit the, 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 the business and here we are, we're, uh, we're in the factory that we, we, we're, we're being interviewed in. This is a great story on many levels. I mean, for me, the most important thing is about creating jobs and the new opportunities, using cutting edge technology to recycle food, to turn it from waste into energy. But th there's two elements to it. One is the jobs, of course, which we're delighted to get. There's a, a, around about 30 people here. It'll grow to 60 in January, and then by the end of the year to 180 people. So it's great news for the city. And we've used the Mayoral Development Fund to actually create these jobs, working with Hates to Energy, uh, to create this facility and to get these jobs. So that's a fantastic news story for Liverpool, but also the fact that we're actually using this facility, and this is one of the big um, units that, that actually convert food into energy. And it's amazing that they can do that using this technology. So it's about sustainability as well. It's a green issue uh, in terms of it's actually uh, using that waste which would normally be just be discarded and actually using it to turn it into energy. I would say that Chamber of Commerce, Liverpool City Council and the actual complete support mechanism that they've got behind them is without doubt, in my experience, possibly one of the most positive areas that I could ever, ever compliment the city on. Um, right from day one, they got a hold, they held, they held our hand, and they still hold our hand on a weekly basis. Uh, I mean, first of all, when I started this journey of, 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 of talking to various people, it, both in Wales and in, uh, in, in Liverpool, they were extremely warm and supportive and helpful, um, and made us feel very, very welcome. And very quickly, we decided that this was going to be our home. Um, we put our application in to uh, the City Council. We had a lot of support in doing that on the 20th of February and on the 25th of June we had money uh, in our banks and support from, uh, from the Mayoral Investment Fund. Uh, and again, that's unprecedented, it's quick and it was targeted in, in the right way for us. It really transformed uh, this business. We've of course used the Mayoral Investment Fund uh, not just with this project alone, uh, but as I said, to bring in investments and jobs, 180 jobs in the long term. We've used it in other places as well, with Bach Mono up and speak, and in other areas within the city centre. And that's what it's about, it's about creating jobs and creating growth within the city when we desperately need it.